I'm Ryan Horn, Turner Steven. Focus on his strong. And we want to be your Town heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Town Heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. I'm Ryan Horn, Turner Steven. Focus on his strong. And today, I uh, we. <laughs> I don't even know how to really describe this deck. Um, a rainbow? Very much a rainbow. Uh, if you guys remember back in Ultra Prism, they ended up releasing a whole line of Rotoms. And uh, I was wanting, I was trying to figure out the best way to make the deck work. I've been working through it with Ultra Prism uh, and we finally solved it. And especially with the psychic one that just came out, it's, it's amazing. So without further ado, we'll jump right into Rotom box. In, it's, it's, it's a deck. <laughs> yeah, and it's a round one ability. I uh, the that main, they all share. Yep. The main reason I have the Rotom we we are running the Rotom is because of its ability. If you have nine or more Poke Tools in your discard pile, you ignore all energy for the cost of its attacks. So three electric energy won't need them. Uh, as long as there's nine tools in the discard. And the main issue is finding out how to get all the stuff into the discard. Uh, efficiently. I, efficiently. Uh, I tried early builds with Gorgeist, or I tried adding it into the Gorgeist deck, and it just didn't work. But And then, uh, obviously, Zoroark has gotten big. And which, we're kinda, it's kind of in placement of a card we're still waiting for. Yeah, we actually do not want uh, Zoroark in this deck. As a matter of fact, we want... Alolan Radicate. Yes, GX. Alolan Radicate GX. However, it's printing in a box. I have not made it to the United States format yet. Yeah. So currently, it's Japan exclusive. So uh, Pokemon, don't make it a Japan exclusive. Give it to us. We we'll take it. And if anybody knows of English copies, send them this way. Yes, please, please. We we'll, want... tra we'll trade for them. <laughs> we we want them, but I. So as you can tell, this took a lot of playtesting, but I think we finally have something that is both hilarious and consistent. Uh, so without further ado, we'll just jump right in. We run two of the Phantom, which I, all of them have the same ability. If you have nine or more Poke Tools in your discard pile, you ignore all energy costs for, for a cost of attacks. So we'll just go through all the attacks. We have Spinning Fan, which does 20 to each of your opponent's Pokemon. We run two of the Heat Tom, which does 80 damage. We run two of the Motom, which does 60 and discard a special energy from your opponent's active. We run two, uh, two of the Electric Rotom, which does 120. Uh, the Psychic, which is the same thing, but for Psychic. We run a 2-2 Gorgice line. Uh, because of the fact Pumpkin Bomb really is the best way to get rid of tools right now. Off the field. Off the field. You, But even then, in general, because of the fact with trade, you're giving up one. Uh, even with uh, the Radicate GX, you're only discarding two. Yeah. This, you could get rid of up to five. Well, two so turns of that. Maybe you, six. Two turns of that, you've already ensured at least one knockout. And... And ten card or ten, uh, ten tools and a, in the and discard. And a full field of uh, tools, you're doing two fifty. Exactly. So it hits hard and it accelerates the rest of the deck. So we're really hoping for a Gorgeist lead, just so we could dump everything or dump all the tools and get set up. Uh, and then we run a one one Zoroark. Now. This is the first, our first time running the Zoroark because while it's technically available in a box, it still is like a competitive staple which has jacked the price up. Yes. So it's one of those, you can get it, but it's not exactly budget. Yes. It's, it's that weird. It's substitute for something that hasn't been released yet. Yes. However, once Alolan Radicate GX comes it's out, swapped. this is gone in a heartbeat for that, for that Radicate. Uh, so we'll throw it up on screen, but uh, Radicate does, uh, for no energy, discard two... Two items from your hand. And, and then... A, 40 for each. Yeah, so you can do 80 for free. The second one was... It's, like a, it's dark and double cause, does like 150 damage on a coin flip. But on tails, it does nothing. Yeah. And then it's GX, which Search is... your deck for six item cards. And put them into your hand. Also, free attack. So, yeah, we want that card. 
it would fit perfect with this. This would make Rotom's like truly awesome. Imagine at, that person at least that, us. <laughs> imagine that person that forgets to play N after that happens. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, right now we ha we're kind of forced to use Zoroark, but the first opportunity we can to get it out, it's out. Uh, we run two of the Frost Tom which does uh, 10 plus 20 more for the amount of energy attached to all your opponent's Pokemon. And one of the Wash Tom, which does 50 to one of your opponent's It's still a snipe for vir virtually no energy. It's 50. Yeah, it's still, or still snipes, but even then, it's... I wish it were 60. Yeah, it, it'd be six, awesome. 60 would make it a lot better. but And even then, the Wash Tom is very situational. Uh, I will admit, right off the top of my head, uh, Garbodor would destroy this deck. Uh, yeah. Because it shuts off the abilities. And then you have to actually play energy. Who wants to play energy? And then maybe Muck would shut this down as well. Anything. Well, Muck, Muck would shut it down. Because all you have left to attack was Zork and the Pumpkin. Exactly. So. Uh, oh, well, you still got the free retreat off the fan roll, Tom, but that's. Eh. So, yeah, uh, I will admit that it's a bad matchup. But even then, this is still a fun deck for a League Cup, League Challenge. It's surprisingly uh, fast, too. So uh, We run one Rotom decks. Uh, after counting your prizes, you shuffle them into your deck, and then you take that many from the top of your deck and put them as your prizes. Yeah, we're adding all the Rotoms to the deck. so Well, it is a Rotom deck, so might as well put in Rotom decks. Exactly. Just sounded like Dr. Seuss for a moment. Uh, we run... Uh, the three of the Pathfinder mode, which you look at the top four of your deck and put them back in any order, or shuffle your deck, so that'll definitely help. We run three. Uh, Ace Rollo, we run two. That way we can bounce anything into our hand because the uh, Rotoms do have low HP. Uh, I think Wash, Wash, Frost. Let's see. All your alternates except for Rotom and Fan Rotom have 90 hit points. Yeah. Base Rotom doesn't. And the Fan Rotom have 70. Also because it probably has the Free Retreat, too. That's probably why. Yeah. Uh, it's, but Free Retreat, Free Retreat. But yeah, if we know it's going to... If they're trying to slowly stack on the damage, we can get it out of there. Uh, we can even grab the Gore Guys so we have more room for Rotoms. We can grab the Zorark so we don't lose it uh, while we're still getting set up. So there's that. Uh, we run three Cynthia, including the full art Cynthia you guys helped us with. Again, thank you. Uh, just for uh, consistency, shuffle our hand and draw six. Uh, we run three Guzma so that we can pick out specific targets, get Rotons out there. Because while it gets rid of their attacks, it doesn't get rid of their retreats. And some of them are kind of high. Yeah. So it's more or less, uh, we need electric. We can Guzma, uh, whatever we need to hit with electric, the water, the fire, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Uh, we run two end for hand disruption and hand refresh. We run two ninja boy so that we can switch and pull out whatever Rotoms we need at that moment. Or even uh, we can switch it into a Zora. We can switch it into a uh, Punkaboo. Just switch it into whatever we need. We run three Sycamore because, again, we are trying to get tools into the discard and... What's the fastest? But what's the fastest way other than discarding your hand? We run three psychics third eye. So we can choose which tools you want to discard immediately. Yes, this this is the a fun one because some of the tools are actually quite effective. Your opponent reveals his hand. You discard that many card, or you discard as many cards as you like from your hand, and then draw that many cards. You've got six tools in your hand and eight cards total. You get rid of six tools and draw six cards. Yes. And then hopefully you're set up even better. So that definitely helps. Uh, now we start getting into the tools. We're running three bursting balloons. Because we don't have four. Because we don't have four, but also I, if the if the Pokemon this card is attached to is, is you're active and is damaged by an opponent's attack, they take six damage counters. And then uh, if it's not triggered, it's discarded at the end of the, your opponent's turn, that's a tool in the discard. So we def we would d love to do four, but we just have three. We have we need uh, we also have four choice band because again, we're wanting to hit as hard as fast as we can. So 30 more damage to GXs and EXs is always a good thing. 
Plus, you can lose one or two at the start and still be good. Yeah. Uh, we run three escape board. Uh, again, be, it's a tool and also... Uh, to be fair, all the road toms have an average retreat cost of one. So yeah, Heat Rotom would retreat for free. Mo would retreat for free. Yeah, I think all of them would retreat for free. Or near... Oh. Well, after the attachment. Yeah, after an escape board. So they essentially you got free retreaters on a, a skateboard. And they can get out of paralysis and sleep too. And if we need to, we can sacrifice them to gore guys. And uh, just... Wait. Something doesn't look right. I don't know. It's just... Oh, I uh, run two Fighting Fury belt. Uh, again, basic Pokemon get plus 40 HP, which would uh, strengthen Rotom's a bit. So again, since they have such low HP, and their attacks do 10 more damage. So that might be that little bit of a threshold to get rid of a Buzzwall, to get rid of a Zoroark, to get rid of all this stuff. That's probably the reason why we waited till the Psychic Pokemon. So at least you have something... Additional three float stone again, just like uh, a skateboard gives our Rotom the chance to retreat. But uh, we make these are sacrificable as well. We could get rid of one or two. We got the skateboard, so we always have we have two different ways that we can add on damage. We've got two different ways of retreating, and we have something that just go into the discard upon use. So. The deck itself is always we're relatively consistent on that part. Four DCEs just in case because Gorgas needs a decent double colors and in case Zork has to attack himself too. Exactly. And that's this is the only energy in the deck. You know the only type we're really missing is fighting. Two and Marshadow can't get rid of that ability, so it can actually use the Rotoms. I know that because if not you would have to actually attach energy. Yeah. Alright, so that's Rotom Box. So we'll jump into a match. And see how it does. I, for me, it does really well. Although it does like having uh, clutch plays a lot. So I'll start off doing horribly, or I'll start start off great, and then it'll just go wherever it wants to go. I'll either go from winning to losing, or losing to winning. Never, nothing any, nothing consistent right now. However, if we get the last laugh, well, that, that work, that's a win anyway. So. Exactly. Come on, give us an opponent. There we I go. Found somebody. All right, psychic water. This should be interesting. Well, it's standard, so unless it, unless it lied. Let's see. Tails, because Tails never fails. Uh, this deck, I don't think it really matters if you go first or second. You would want to go second for setup, but that's really about it. With all the basics of the deck, we mulliganed. I know. What are we up against? I, think I saw water inside. So I'm kind of wondering if we're up against uh, Napoleon. What's the psychic then? Lele. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting Lele's psychic. I keep thinking he's fairy for some reason. Well, I keep thinking it's... No, never mind. Not appropriately. <laughs> Don't worry. I feel the same way. Change our mind. Drop it in the comments. Hmm. Or Ninetales. Then what's the psychic with Ninetales? Lele. Ooh. Wait. Where is that from? That's the promo. From what? The blister. Okay, I gotta go get some of those now. See if, uh. You should go see. You should. Alright. Surprise, surprise. Are we surprised? No, not in the slightest. Well, well wait, hold they, on. Hold they, on. They did use Cynthia, so. Not surprised. You want to end? Oh. No, but we can at least start getting set up for other turns.
So it's right, so we'll and they're probably the they're rotom. probably they're probably using Espeon too. So we will retreat, make them burn uh burn resources to get that lele out. Because you'll have to burn at least one energy or a uh, one energy an escape rope or a Guzma in order to get out of that. Oh, Glaceon, Glaceon Nine Tails. Do you forget about Glaceon? I know. You don't see it too often. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. They already did, did their energy attachment for the turn. I mean, he does know that it helps me, right? That helps us. Oh, we'll find out. We're about to find out. They go beacon. Should we do a smile? Did he use Bridget? I know. I'm actually kind of. They can help us a little bit. We have some water, and he has the deck moving too. So let's see, what do we got? Alright, so double Cynthia with Palpad. Ultra Ball probably going to bring out Ninetales. Yeah. Sharp taking off the sm probably are sharp picking off the bit benched ones. Well if they miss we can just scoop them up, put it back down. But we don't we don't want to go into top deck mode either. That's what I'm thinking. Oh. It only does fifty? Yeah. Oh. That's uh, let's pull out we don't need the electric one as much. Technically he could still hit it wherever it goes, but But we can also start pulling. He has a lot of energy out. She has a lot of energy out. So Unfortunately. Okay. All right. So we got a Lele, Glaceon, a Nine Tails. Yeah, Glaceon Nine Tails would be a pretty nice deck. Okay, throw so tools on it. Oh, fan on Tom. If only you were in the active. We're losing that. We're losing the gore guys. At least one of them. Rangaroo. I would. I wouldn't. I would agree that we could do, probably use one of those in here. Yeah. Or not get end turn one, or uh, what did we get turn one? We did. We just played everything. Or we were able to play everything. Oh, that was a test match. I'm thinking of. Yeah. But now, now we need to get something out because we're in picking range. That we do. Too bad. Too bad. Bursting blue doesn't work while it's in the act. Well, it's on the bench. You can play it on the bench, but it's not going to do anything on the I, bench. Sometimes I wish. Because yeah. then, then again, they just choose a different one, target. One, two, three. Something tells you they'll that'll probably be aim tool, for the, That'll be tool four. They'll probably aim for the frost, or they'll aim for the fan. Or that. Wait, is this just a sniper deck? Probably. Oh yeah, this is the other type you don't have in here. Metal. It's like just 30, 90 and 30 to one of your opponent's bench. Just 50 to each damage counter and your opponent's active. Hmm. Okay, give him a... Oh, put up a fan. So that, that person was fizzling anyways. Yep. Acerola. Pull out more to the Y. Rotoms. 
Four more of the Rotoms. Oh. It doesn't help, but they're actually swinging for 90 for hit. 90 and sniping the bench. That and we just had a bad hand. No, we had a good, good opening we, hand, and then oh yeah, we, we had, had a good opening hand, and then nothing. We had, we had to have a mulligan. Normally, it doesn't do this to us. Though, of course, we are we do have a feature on the channel, so that probably means it's gonna not work for us. Yeah. Give him wash. Those are taking damage. Yeah. To be fair, it's probably the least useful one in the deck. Now I get the core guys. Yeah, I. Unless we top deck a sycamore, we're not gonna do well. No. This is not gonna end well. Yeah, we have to top deck a sycamore in order yeah, to pull it out. Give them the damage one. Make them work. Make them work a little harder. And no, but we got an N. That, that's close enough. No, we still gotta get that thing out of the active. Well, throwing the choice band on it. Choice band. Mo, I say mo skateboard. Motom. It's getting a little late to play some of these. Psychic's third yeah. eye though. We Your can. Your hands white. We top deck. Of course, the deck starts to behave right at the end. Yeah. When is it? Two, two three, three, four plus the defending one of the defending. Five. Six of the. Oh, throw the row time. That's for your treat. So we need three more in there. Let's pull out the row to other row time just because that's for your treat. I know, I know. Calm down. Let's go. We don't need to attach this. <laughs> Psyche third eye. Yes. Oh, he does have full bench. Let's get rid of. Everything. Just purge the hand. Yep. We need to get through the deck. Um, <laughs> put the fighting fairy bolt on the defending. On this one. Yep. Make him make him burn a few more resources to get it. Cause they're not getting the road tom the knockout off of it. Yeah. Well. But they had they're missing. Either way, he can retreat and and probably get the knockout with something. With what? He needs another energy on the nine tails. And sycamore. Skateboard. Yeah, the we got it. Well played. You have a good deck. Well, all the energy we needed down on the field, all the tools that were missing. Mm hmm. So close. Well, in terms of getting them all to the discard. And he took seven prizes. Yay! Okay. Let's try this again. It is a janky deck, but it does work. I promise. Come on, don't be buzz. Don't be buzz. Or be buzz with a good hand for us. Might be. Oh, we have a surprise, and that is actually the Pokemon that's on it. Oh, they had no basics. Well, done. They have no basics. Let's see what they have. Um. Oh yeah. You do. A little bit of a. Challenge. Is it that fighting one? Probably. We got two mulligans. 
Oh, bench roll, Tom. We're probably going to eat it. Ninja Boy. Oh, yeah, we're going to need Nin it. Ninja Boy. He, he Tom, into Gorg? Into, yeah. What's it? Good thing we did. We, we would have been waiting for it. So we're fighting pretty well, so I can't get any knockouts off it at this time. And next turn we can do Cynthia. And after evolving. Gore guy Cynthia, yeah. And then hopefully. Maybe we talk back a DCE, it'd be even better. And at that point I almost want to actually just discard the hand. Or just use Saggy Third Eye and actually see what they're running. I know. Uh, we know they're running a garb, and not, it's probably going to be uh, trash. No, uh, the garbage. So yeah, we just have to deal with garb. Top deck. Top deck DCE. Gar guys, Cynthia. We'll use the special Cynthia. It no longer worked for him. Oh well. We don't need. We don't care. And we... frost. We technically need one more item to get. Is it? Now, can we just swap the items? Because Toy Spin will actually get the one shot. No, but we can at least get scared. this going. Get it scared. Yeah, get it scared. And at least start stacking. Oh, yeah. How much? 180. Ex almost exact knockout. Oh, that's right. It does 10 plus 40. Yes. Which I can't remember if we covered this in the video proper, but a DCE, 10 damage, plus you discard any number of tools from your Pokemon, and it does 40 more damage for each card you discard it this way. So, yeah, and you want to load energy and discard it ASAP. Let's uh, go. See what Ro Actually, we don't need to see what Rotom did. You want to see if we're drawing anything good with Rotom decks? If not, we're doing... I like the Zora. I do. We don't know if it's top... You know, we'll shuffle. Yeah. And then N. N. Oh, we got it anyways. I don't think we'll need the other two. Yeah, well, Zora. If that is Trash Lance, we might be. We will have to get rid of it as soon as possible. Poker for 10. Poker for 10. And then we could start discarding Motom, or Rotoms. We need to make sure we have at least one of each. Oh, amazing. Uh, let's get rid of the uh, Frost and the... And who else? We got a free retreater. Hey, Gorgias! We, we need to have... pull out trash. I think we only have only two tools, so... It's okay. This would be better if we can get them in there faster. Because once he switches to it, we got it. Yes. Got two in there. Second. I think a Ranger would be a nice little addition to this. I think so too. So probably Psychic Third Eye, get rid of these two, depending on top deck. Hope we pull Zoroark and some tools. Now do we attach the tool or do we actually play it so we can actually discard it for damage output? Mm. Probably depends on the tool. Depends on the tool. I don't think Bloom's going to go very far if we draw it. I don't think so. I don't, either. I don't think Oranguru is attacking. Ninja Boy fan to another psychic. I know, we'll just do second, uh, third eye. Yeah, we shouldn't need Ninja Boy at this point. Nice hand. It's a pretty good hand. He's a full stone. One, two, three. Party wants to keep that Ninja Boy, but we have two, so. Attach tool and blow it up. 
You won't be able to blow it up, but well, at least be able to do some damage. Yeah, get rid of it. So that's 50? Yep. And then we've got one, two, three tools in here so far. We need nine, so we're six short. Too bad, too bad that Guzzler takes a little bit of energy to get it going. It would be a nice little lead. Uh, yeah. The only problem is getting four energy on it within a couple of turns. Now, if you were to do the GX and just discard everything, maybe go into a... Uh... Well, I'm thinking of the baby one. Yeah. Well, again, the other one just discards everything. You just make sure you are discarding. Yeah, just run no dark, dark energy, just run rainbow. Yes. Just mill everything, bring it back with rescue treasures and whatnot. That would be one way to do it. You'd still be a guzzlord, though. Uh, we'll evolve. Cynthia. Cynthia for, for a bigger hand. Oh, Zor. There we and, go. And attachments. I've only had Guzma. Attach. Attach. I think you want to save the choice band or just go for it. Attach. Go for it. We we need to get Rotoms going like ASAP. And more than just the fan Rotom. Although, how much do we need for knockout? Let's see. 60, you need two because one's just doing 50. Oh, wait. It's got Fury Bell on. Should have got rid of the third. Oh, it gives us uh, time to get some with Sycamore, too. Touche. Of course, Sycamore's not discarding him now. We're looking, using it to get get to him. But most likely, they're going to ace a roll it and try to get swinging with... Thank you. He's filling... So, one, two, three, so... four, five, six. six. We need three more. Yeah. And Sycamore should be able to get us the re remaining. Mm hmm. With how many, when a uh, quarter of our decks. Uh, tools? Tool, yeah. Yeah, we got this. We just need them to attack. And then we need to get rid of that stadium while we're at it. If, if we can. So we can have more variety of Rotoms to work with. We kind of need those psychic ones, mainly for weakness. Oh, now we need the psychic one. Uh, no, tr no, trade it. Uh, no. Okay, now I see where we're going. Trade Sycamore or Guzma? Just, uh, just do Guzma. See what we can get. See if we can discard stuff with. Oh, of course. Fine. One is. Oh, person bursting blow on the defending. Mm. So we got enough for a knockout. Let's pop the the fighting prayer belt, and get the knockout. And if and we have to, have to take six coming into it. So yeah, you see that helps. I hate to have to use Zork as an attacker, but it might happen. Well, even then, we got another Gorgas on the bench ready to go. Yeah. Worst case, if we have to, Zoro, we can. If I can just keep it there doing nothing, that'd be great. Yes. Well, there goes Gorgas. It's okay. We can take it out with Gorgas. Yes. Because we only got to hit 120. We need three. Easy. Hey, actually, one. And a half. Yeah, we can. And get... if he actually attacks this one, we only need one. Yeah, we can get two easily. So he attacks and takes six, but in range of other, the other gore guys. I think we'll just do. Want to do trade or sycamore? Why not both? In which order? Bring in Gorg. Um, let's do this. What do we talk about? 
Psychic I'll try a third eye. I'll try a psychic third eye. First off, we'll trade getting rid of. Discard one of the third eyes. I think we'll probably be using it this turn. So you want to try to keep the Guzma. Third eye, draw two. Because we got a target up there. Bursting balloon. Take a third eye. We'll get rid of. Oh, they're playing Zygarde. You got Zygarde. Interesting. Our Zygarde's, my Zygarde's going to be better. Uh, so we'll get rid of Heat Tom. I think Acerola. Get rid of Acerola. She save the DC. Let's try Cynthia because you have Guzma and Sycamore to work with. Oh, uh, and hang the deck count. Yeah. Yeah. Save the energy just in case. Okay. Of course, you get the ones we don't want. We'll DCE, we'll heat. I, I to double check the count. We have one, two, three, three four, four, five, six, seven. Six, seven. Need one more. Oh, eight. eight. So that's number nine right there. That's number nine. So we, we still will... we still need to use it to get rid of it. We'll get a prize and our ninth tool. Yes. Bro, Tom's are now open. Let's do this. Okay. I wonder if that's saying, saying our abilities are now active. If not, they should. Oh no, that's the to the parallel city. And it's okay. He can bring in the the Zygarde. It could be a problem. Times two to grass. No. What what grass? Exactly. Motom. Are both in here? Yes. Oh crap. We do run run stretchers, right? I hope so. We should. We better be. Oh, right. but the fan has free retreat. Free retreat plus twenty to everything's not bad. So oh, we will try. Choice fan. I was thinking on the heat one, but oh well. Well sycamore? Yeah, let's go down. If, you just need to get two prizes. Bench the. Do you, you want to bench or you want to wait on it? Well, psychic. How much do we need from the. We'll float stone. We'll choice band. Spin. Wait. How much. How many turns do we have? We have. We, <laughs> Arl 3 gives us in the discard. See. Yep. Yep. So we we had to rely on them bring up the Mewtwo. We could play into the favor and put up Zorark. I I have to see how many tools we have though items. So we, he's not getting the one shot off the, the garb. Yeah. Yeah. He, there's probably enough items in there. So that's that's just spinning. Let's spin. Well, the thing is, is we could retreat and claim that knockout. I'm thinking about doing that. So, well, we need the Rotom for the Mewtwo. We'll make it. Are we? It's swinging for a hundred. I know it is. The Mewtwo. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's swinging for a hundred thirty. We need we need it for that. Well, well, we've got the, we got a sycamore. We gotta wash Tom to put on more damage. Mm-hmm. Because that's fifty. Did we lose both of our? Uh, oh, we still have a frost in play. We still have a psychic Rotom available. That too. So we need this. Do we need that Rotom? We just need one prize, right? Yes. Put up, put up anything with a free retreat. We need so we need, Rotom. We need this clutch. If we don't draw it, Sycamore. Sycamore. We we need the Rotom. Unless that's the Rotom. That's the Rotom. How much energy is that? That is two, three, four, five. Not quite enough. Two, four, six, eight. Ten. That's the psychic Rotom.
Dang it. Um. Well played. Woo, that was close. What is our one psychic row time to come back with? It was prize. <sighs> How's it make you? Oh, no, then, then, he, then he plays garb. That would have been clutch. You know, he was playing one. We needed one row of the psychic rotom, and I think that prize there is the one we're missing. I think so too. Don't don't ins come on, just and defeat. It this deck is a bit clunky. I I will be the first to admit that, but it does work. There is potential there. Um, if you were to run this, if you were to run this meta, you would definitely do, um, you'd probably up the Zoroark, you would want to add in Lele, um. But Lele is more like, more or less a nin well, Bridget and then Ninja Boy. Bridget. Ninja Boy, it out for another Rotom. Yeah. But even then, we'll do, we'll do one more game. We're, we're bound to win at least one. Because it, it does work. Yeah, you got Trump. You're familiar, so with this. You're, you're familiar with this matchup. I'm familiar with this matchup. Well, I should hope so. So let's see. You're going first. Punkaboo. That was first. That's a really good start. Psychic third eye. With a bench roll, Tom? Yeah. I just wish it was, the rest of this was tools. I wish the rest of that would have been something like a Cynthia, at least. So instead, we'll have to Psychic's Third Eye. Yep. We could... Is is active for Ninja Boy, huh? No. No? Any basic. So I could Rotom, or you can Ninja Boy you can, the Rotom into Azora? Yep. And then next turn we do Psychic Third Eye, hoping on a better top deck. Based on, based on the water, they're probably running into Vulpix, which you kind of have to run. Yeah. It's preferred to be the active Pokemon. Oh, but we Psychic did get Third Eye? Or, just, or N? I'm, there's a part of me, you know what, let's N. You can always, you can always Ninja Boy later. Watch, we'll top deck the Zora anyways. No, we got tools, but, but and we got a DC. Tools, a DCE, and a Cynthia. Let's hold on to DCE for now, so we not we're not giving away our give everything for your retreat. Oh, of course they have the Gore guys in hand. Yep. But even then, Cynthia, we're bound to get it back. If anything else, we always just. Eh. Yeah, I think Cynthia will be the play. Oh no. Okay. He threw up a heart. I would have thrown up the her the heart or the smiley face. But then that would kinda of give away what we're trying to do and might diverge his. Do play. it when we actually have the ninth one in. Yeah. Cause a lot of people say the Rotom is garbage, but it has potential. It it's going to be a lot. I think it's a lot of fun. It's just oh, getting it to use, work. They, they had to use bite off. Stop cheating. Stop using my list. Of course. We get the full rainbow. Hey, let's just throw all the, let's throw the bursting balloon out there. So we have one more. So if he's gonna get the knockout on the punkaboo. No, it goes with the tool. I kind of wish we'd had the bursting balloon on it. Yay! Oh no, he and, and us. Whatever shall we do? Have a new hand. Again, we are like the only people who don't mind getting end. Just because we have like no hand to begin with. This is a nice. So it's weak to grass. We'll want mo. We will want. We'll want mo. We need mo ASAP. And we need a. We need a. Um, Wait, too bad there's no fairy ones. 
If assuming they are running the dragon one. I'll put up heat heat for now. Let's get an item count or tool count. Tool count. We've got one, two, four. three, four. Well, technically five. Five. I don't think we'll need the. Uh, we'll lay frost. We'll discard up to the. We'll get rid of fan. We don't need DC anymore. No, we DC is for two attackers, and none of them are on the field. All right. Two candy. They're running that chomp. Okay. Oh, okay. Just, Just start everything. There's number five. There's the Morotom. Moro now we just... To be fair, he'll need 10 damage to knock it out. Give him a wash. Unless you want to try to use it against Gibbles. No. Something they're tells, they're something. reliant on candies. They are. If only can, like, de-evolve them all. If we were running, That's, uh... It's not evolve. Cynthia... And they're still hitting for a hundred, but oh, now I get it. So it's bounce frost back into the deck. Get out of target. I see if Zorix even in there. Nope. No even point to get getting that out. Get the other Moro timeout. No Zork, no Punkaboo either. We well, just you did, the two are now in the discard, which means now we're basically top decking. While well, he's ensuring knockouts. Yeah. <sighs> of course. I know it works in real life. I know it works in real life, and it would work a lot better with the Radicate GX. I know it would. Yeah. Wait, there's a Radicate? Oh, wait, we just said there was. Yeah, Alola and Radicate GX. The, the, <sighs> the entire reason we're, we're stuck with Zorark. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unless we... Unless we, we can top deck... Unless Arceus is on our side... Which he's not. He probably fell. It probably fell asleep. Yeah. We. Yeah, we're not gonna win this one. No, we don't scoop though. We don't scoop on Potan Heroes. Every loss is a learning opportunity. Yeah, what? It's five, six of them in there now. We should have given the road the electric road Tom. We should put six of them in there. And even though that guard Tom doesn't have the weakness that that's shared amongst Rotoms. Yeah. So now I'm very much on the fence about this one, uh, about this deck, because it does work. At in least, real life. At least in real life. Oh, oh well. Wrong one. <laughs> Ninja Boy, Fan Rotom, Phantom. Retreat. Retreat for regular Rotom. Give him that one to knock out. There goes the game. Well played. You have a good deck. Set face. And Garton Bay is a pretty good Pokemon. It is. But yeah, we will ex we will accept our loss. I hopefully you guys at least saw what we were supposed to do with the deck. I uh, again consistency is a bit of an issue uh, at times. I uh, so either a po or PTC Dio gave us like the worst RNG ever, or the deck is bad. And we're just kind of in denial about it. We're trying to deny it. We are very much trying to deny it because this to deck. Be fair, I, I, to be fair, there are some Rotoms that aren't very useful. Yeah. But namely, the really only one that's not useful is the Wash, but the rest of them are. But, have you, a typing. Ne but you never know when Frost will come in handy. And 
electric's really only good when if you're seeing a lot of electric weaknesses like Ho Ho and Empoleon. Yeah. yeah, but either way, I uh, that was that was the Rotom deck. Um, it does work better than that, but we will definitely redo this list once and, Raticate comes out. Yeah. yeah. I I will I'm do I'm calling it right now. Once Raticate is out, we are building that deck. We are going to showcase it again, and this deck will get a re, uh, will get the true love that it deserves because it is an amazing deck. Imagine a deck that doesn't even run energy except for the Punkaboo. Honestly, I don't even know if Punkaboo would be necessary with we'll Raticate. It it will it'll help, but yeah, we will we, have to accept Wash isn't good enough. It, at this point, isn't good enough, and we'll have to accept that maybe Electro Wong might, might need to step down yeah. for spaces for Eradicate. But I think for now, this is going to go onto the shelf until that Eradicate comes out and um, and accept the losses that we got with this deck. I uh, so yeah, we will until next time. Take it easy. <sighs> okay, that that one hurt. We we could have done that a lot differently. <sighs> Back to the drawing board? Back to the drawing board. However, we actually don't believe in losing because every lose or every loss is a learning opportunity. So please go down in the comments. Let us know what we could have done better. Let us know what we should do differently with our lists. Uh, while you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Become a Poe Town hero yourself. Uh, hit us up on PTCGO. We are Poe underscore town underscore heroes. And be sure to check out our Facebook, facebook.com slash Poe Town Heroes. Until next time.